Hello everyone, welcome back to Happy Gilmore's career mode on EA Sports PGA Tour with me, Crash Convo. Welcome back to the channel everyone. We are coming off a win at the Florida Classic. We got our win at the sixth attempt. It was earlier in the career than I expected to win, but that course was very easy. We managed to shoot... Well, I won't tell you what I managed to shoot. If you haven't seen the video, uh, <laughs> definitely go and check it out. It's the episode six, just before this one. But we are going to continue now at the Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill Club and Lodge. So I think we're going to do this one, the players, of course, and the EA Sports Championship, and then we'll skip straight to the Masters because we don't have to worry about qualifying anymore. We're already there. We've won a tournament, so we're going to be able to enter every single major from now because that was the big worry um, up until this point, just making sure we're in the top 50 in the world golf rankings. But... The other way you qualify is by winning a tournament, which we have now done. So, Bay Hall Club and Lodge, 6 to 9 mile an hour wind. So, the wind has picked up a little bit here. Uh, when are we teeing off? Okay, we're teeing off really early again. So, yeah, a lot of the players will be finishing after we've finished our round. But Happy Gilmore is now a PGA Tour winner at the Florida Classic. And we're going to start the Arnold Palmer Invitational. And the PGA at Bay Hill Club and Lodge. So yeah, the rules for this, we're improving the power stat until it's full. And once I'm on the green, I can't use the overhead grids to read the part. AI level is 100. Uh, no playing partner and everything except the majors will just be a single round tournament. So let's see how we do here. Florida Classic, uh, what is the course? The Wetlands? It's ve everything there is so soft, including the greens. So, you know, there were par fives where we would hit a three wood, it would bounce on the green and it would actually stop. So that made that course very scorable indeed. But yeah, if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. It was close. We didn't, we didn't, you know, storm ahead. But it was a very entertaining round of golf. So Happy Gilmore tees off at Bay Hill. The in the fairway, very nice. This pin is tucked away on the right there. Right. Of course, there's quite a bit of tailwind, so I think we can maybe hit a pitching wedge here. I mean, being short's not terrible. There's not much break in that on that side of the, the green. We gone to swing again with that wedge approach, though. We have to take that out of our game. That's been a constant theme for me it has gone really far left as well that shot left as soon as i hit that you can't go wrong with finding the middle of the green That's okay so uh this is going to turn a lot to the right i think this one first a long look for birdie wow okay yeah we're just gonna have to aim a little bit right and see what this ball does perfect tempo tempo power Oh, oh, that couldn't have been any closer. Wow. That was millimeters away. What a putt from there. We almost start our round with the most extravagant of birdies, but we'll tap in for par instead. So happy Gilmore, even par. 3-1 at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. And remember to leave a like on the video, guys, if you enjoy this series and subscribe if you haven't already. This has been a lot of fun. Very challenging, you know, not being able to put any power, any uh, stat points into accuracy or anything like that. It's all about the power. And yeah, this is a tough one. We're going to have to get a bit lucky here, I think. I'm going to hit a 4-iron. You know what, I actually think 5-iron is okay, because it's really downhill and the wind is going to push it forward and to the left. Alright, if that's the right distance, that could be good. It's not quite, actually. Oh no, it's going to go back into the bunker. Unlucky. Now we've got a... Test our bunker game. Of course, we don't have the pick and we won't have the pick for a very long time. But that's kind of good because the pick is a little bit OP anyway. It's very easy to put it just by the flag with the pick. So this makes it a bit tougher for us. 
Let's see how our scrambling game is. Just needs to slow down. Okay. Four feet. Okay, that should be inside of ten feet. Goes a little bit past. And this will be a five foot putt here. Might be a little bit of rake in this, you know. There is, but we get it. Good read. Good read, and we're even through two. So yeah, the wetlands might be a bit of an anomaly this early in the season because the course was very easy. Thing is, the AI. I don't. I don't think the AI kind of scales their scores based on how easy the course is. I mean, the winning score at Riviera Country Club was 10 under in this career mode. I shot like two under, so I was nowhere near. But the winning score there was 10 under, and at the wetlands, it was nine under, which, yeah. I, I used to think they scaled it based on the difficulty of the course, but after that, I, I don't think they do. All right, so this wind should push this pitching wedge shot forward. Better on the underswing that time. But that time it stayed stayed right. I was so worried about aiming more left after that shot on hole one, which went all the way left, you know. But remember, these RNG dispersion circles, they're quite wide. So if I went closer to the pin and it went left, that's, that's in the water from there. Okay, I can't quite tell what way this is turning. I think it might go to the left. Bit of overswing. Oh, it started to turn left as it reached the uh, the hill, but it just didn't come back enough. Good pace at least, and we will tap in another par. It's been two putting all the way so far. Actually, hole two wasn't, was it? Because we were in the bunker and we had to scramble. <laughs> but okay, no no big score as early. Leaders are only one under. But we must be about the 7th or the 8th group out here. We're, we're very, uh, playing our round very early here. Alright, so this is a par 5. Do we do we get out the power drive here? And get a bit of extra distance? I think we do. Let's go for it, Happy. Come on. That's pretty much perfect. It's missed the tree. Wind is going to carry it on. This is a really long par 5, so we want as much distance as possible here. B5-3 to the pin now. We definitely want to score on these par 5s at this point, because we've got quite a lot of power, so a lot of these are now reachable. But let's see what a 3-iron approach is doing for us here. I know it's uphill, but I expect this to get over that bunker. That's, that's what I'm going to play for here. Going to aim right at it. Pretty good on distance. Is it going to clear the bunker? No, it's not. Oh dear. Two solid shots at the par five. It was very it's close to clearing it, bunker. but we probably oh, should have hit a power approach three iron there. And now we don't really have a club. I'm going to have to blast it from this distance, and I'm not really sure how this plays out. I mean, it's uphill all the way, so we need to make sure we catch the front of the green, and I'm hoping it's going to run a bit. But not too much. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good blast again out of the bunker. And we have 5 feet 8 inches for a birdie. What is Happy doing there? He's all over the place. <laughs> what is that animation? Pretty straight. And it is. Alright. We are off the mark. And yeah, I think at this point with our power, we want to be scoring on the par 5s. For sure. You know, just blast the tee shot. He'll make sure we're in the fairway, if possible. And uh, our second shot should should get somewhere around the green, you know. Right. This hole, I'm going to aim this a little bit right. No, I've got headwind here, but this should clear the bunker. That might not, because that's left all the way. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's sitting up quite nicely in the bunker there. So we'll see what we can do. Not much break on that green if we can get the distance right. So we're in the sand and of course there's a bit of headwind so I think I need to club up here. I'm going to aim towards the back. 54 degree. Ooh. 
the wind going to help us out? That's a little bit too far right. And it is short anyway, and that is going to come back. At least it there. Okay. <laughs> At least it doesn't go back into the bunker. We've got a little chip off the green. And for these kind of chips, I'm, I am allowed to read the grid lines. Looks almost straight in, to be honest. I'm just going to hit this straight at it. Oh, it's gone left on me straight away. Okay. Yeah, there is a little bit of dispersion RNG still on the chips. That's gone a little bit past, actually. But from here, I, I don't think there's much break. I'm going to aim inside the cup. This is for par. Did break a little bit, but it holds on. It's got to be a little bit delicate with those chips sometimes. Okay, so we're only one shot off the lead for now, but of course, we're out really early, so... We can always expect the leader to get about 9 under. 8, 9, 10 under, if, if it's a one-round tournament, for sure. Ah, uh, this hole. <laughs> do, we, uh, do we just power drive this? Do we power drive this and try and get some distance? I'm trying to work out where I'm aiming here. Let's go for it. That's gone straight. Hopefully that sits before it reaches the rough. Okay, Alright, that's, that's good. Of course, we could have taken it on more, but if the dispersion sends it left, we're in the water, so that's a pretty good drive. Right, the round one pin is right at the back on this par 5. What is it? 257? Two, well, I think a normal 3-wood is okay. I don't think we can go pin-seeking here. It's right at the back, so I'm just going to kind of try and hit the middle of the green. Good direction again, despite the big slow. Is it going to sit before going over? No, it's not. Okay. Well, again, our sand game has been good so far. We've always got up and down in two. But let's try and keep that going. Got to be a little bit more careful with this one because it's downhill all the way. But this is going to be a little bit harder to judge. Um, I'm expecting a blast to come out with some pace, you know, as in it, the roll. It's going to roll quite a bit, so. There it goes. There it goes. You know what? It was online. <laughs> it was online. If I gave that a little bit more power, could have got that in. But it's a really good blast again. And we're going to tap in a birdie putt to move to two under. Two under through six at Bay Hill. Not too bad. Here we are now at the 199 yard part three Happy Gilmore, seven. a winner early in the season. Just trying to build off that build off that now. I think we're 14th in the WGR World Golf Rankings, and we're about I think we're third in the FedEx Cup standing. So that's pretty good. And then you've got to be really precise. If it's right, seven iron, I think we'll get carried a little bit. If this is a little bit short, it's fine. Right, it's going a bit right. Aylwind is carrying it. It should get a bit of roll on the green as well, and it does. That's actually almost perfect distance. It's just gone off to the right on me. Safely on the putting surface. Now this for birdie. But this is an uphill putt. I think it's going to turn left. And I know no to big A just said it's straight, but I think it is going to turn left. And it is. Have we got it? No, it's just not turning enough. We've absolutely smashed that, though. That's gone six feet by. A bit of a tester back now. All right, it just about broke enough to uh, be inside the cup there. And it's two under through seven. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to work a little bit more if we want a second win in a row here. Definitely wouldn't expect it. It's a fair way you must hit because that second shot here. Be quite magical if we win two in a row. Going from the wetlands, which of course was a pretty easy course to, to Bay Hill, which definitely is a test. Is this the par five? I don't think it is, is it? There's a par five here that's similar to this. I don't think it's this one. No. Wow, what a treacherous pin as well. Okay, uh, seven iron, is that good enough? Is that going to get there? I think it will. The wind is going to slow it down. I don't want to aim too far past. Oh, 
Uh, we've really gone pin seeking there, haven't we? We've managed to land it on the tucked area of the green on the left. So that's a pretty good shot. And we've got this for birdie. Downhill all the way. And I think it's going to turn right. Happy for the birdie. It just turns a little bit more. Just gonna sneak on by. And it goes by. Good effort, but it's probably going to be another par here. And there we go. All right, it's just it's just birdies on the par fives so far. Nothing magical on the par threes or the par fours. Some players now starting to score a little bit better. Someone's got to three under, and we're one shot behind that. This shot should clear the bunker. It's gone pretty straight there. Good shot. And we're just going to have our second shot out of the fairway. What hole are we on? Nine? I think one hole nine, aren't we? Right, pins at the back. Missing left would leave us with a bit of a read to make. I think this is going to need a six. It's slightly uphill and of course the wind is going to bring it a bit back. It looks pretty good on direction. A little bit short though. We could have hit that full. So this is going to turn a bit to the right, this pin, this uh, up from 30 feet out. To be a little careful with this one. It's for birdie. And it's uphill. We've been overhitting a bit of the, some, uh, quite a few of these uphill parts. So I'm going to not quite aim as far this time. Under swing and it is turning right. Is it going to hold on? No. Mm, yeah, that's a this is slightly low, but better power at least. It's not gone quite as far past as some of our parts have. So it's another par, and we are out in 34. That's a two under. Two shots off the lead now. Yep, some more players are uh, getting out on the course and scoring really well. As we go to hole 10 at Bay Hill. An awkward one here, because I think we're going to have to take on the trees a little bit. With the power we have now. That's on a pretty good line. That's perfect. The driving's been good so far. I think we've only missed one fairway, maybe. On these final nine holes, if get back into it, but yeah, the fairways here aren't too wide, and we've managed to hit most of them. Right, this is a tricky one. I'm going to play this low to try and stop it from spinning back. Hopefully it's not too far, though. And the swing might not matter. Oh, it looks good. Go on, sit. Spin back a little bit. What a shot that is from Happy Gilmore. On the 10th, it actually rolls back a little bit still, despite the low direction. This looks straight into me. I know it says above, but I'm going to hit this straight. Just give it more power. And there you go. Wonderful approach. We get the putt in and we're down the three under. There are two more par fives to go. So I definitely want to score there. The lead has got to five under. Not sure what kind of position three under would get us. Probably just outside the top 30. Really just depends on how other players score. Keeping this tee shot a bit right. Uh, for that very reason. That has absolutely shot left. And that is exactly why I aimed that far right. Once again, you, you don't Because if the ball shoots left like that, I mean, we're in the water. We are in the water if I aim that any more left. Okay. Might have to club up here. Gonna be close, but I think I've got to club up to a pitching wedge. It is uphill, so this should be fine. Like underswing again might not be a might not be a problem. Doesn't look like it'll be a problem. It's a really good approach again. Run the first cut. Again, just a slight underswing does leave us a bit longer. Like, without the underswing, that's right on it. Can we get two birdies in a row to start the back nine here? Oh, we can't. It slipped out once again. Happy Gilmore gets a bit unlucky. And we roll in the par again. Unfortunate. And with a par 5 coming, that could have potentially been 3 in a row. 
to make a charge up that leaderboard at the start of the back nine. Okay, so this par five is 574. Narrow fairway, so a power drive is a little bit risky. Tailwind as well, though. I'm definitely going to go for this. Let's just go for it. Happy Gilmore Wood. That's a pretty good swing. That's going dead, cent dead center. Lovely. Look at that. I'm curious to like see how wide the dispersion circle is on the power drive and the power approach but of course since we're on sim i can't zoom in all right so the pins at the back which is probably nice here because we've got plenty to work with plenty of green to work with and the front of the green is 226 my three iron is 234 so i think i'm just gonna hit a three i think that should be fine i'm gonna aim it a little bit more right I expect this to hit the green. Good job aimed right, because that's going left. Not bad now, though, is it? Oh, it's just not stopped. I think that's going to disappear down the back, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, no, it's gone all, all the way into the rough. That's awkward now. All right, what are our options from here? I mean, we could pitch it, but it's a little bit downhill where the pin is. How's a flop from here? Look at that circle. It's so wide. All right. Well, I'm going to play a pitch again. This is what we've normally done from this kind of distance. So we need to kind of get it just to the front. Try and hit the front of the green where we are. Oh, oh, we got a heartbeat moment. Have we got it in? It's got to go. It's got to go. Come on. <laughs> it's a lovely shot from Happy Gilmore. A pitch in from beyond the green. That is exactly what we want at this point. We move to five under with that. What a pitch. We got that perfect. <laughs> perfect carry on the ball. Catches the front of the green. And it does catch those slopes. Breaks right, dead center. What a what a chip in that is. Possibly our best shot of the career so far. I, I still don't think it beats that um, almost hole in one we had in the last tournament. Because that was a difficult par three. We needed a full three iron there. It landed right by the flag. That was right at the end of a tournament as well, when we were charging for the lead. All right. Okay, direct headwind. I'm expecting this to hit the back of the green and roll back a bit. Take a little bit of power off. 20 degrees might uh, 20 yards might be a bit too much. Look at that. Perfect distance with a wedge for once. Tell you what, I didn't need to take the extra distance off that. It's, it's pretty good, though. It's just gone a little bit to the right on me. But we have this for birdie. We're, we're in second at the moment. And we've got six holes to go. We've got plenty of time to improve our score even more. Happy for the birdie. Doesn't quite turn. Good effort. Should be able to tap in the par putt once again. Bogey free so far. I like that. And that's kind of the good thing about, you know, just improving the power stat early because... As long as you can get around the green in regulation, as long as your scrambling game is good, you should come away with pars. We kind of get into that stage, unless the course is really difficult, I'd like, you know, no bogeys on the card. And this course isn't that difficult that I would expect bogeys. Maybe somewhere like Augusta or Chambers Bay. Chambers Bay will be interesting. That is a tough course. Okay, we have a par three. Uphill. I'm going to hit a 5-iron, I think, and try and give it some high loft here so that it sits down. That's gone pretty right, though. Oof. Okay. Well, it's just nestled down in the rough. That might be better, actually, than being in the bunker. Let's see. Okay, it's uphill, actually. Flop circle again is too wide. I, I'm quite confident with the pitches now. And I, I just like that the 
the RNG circle is way smaller on the pitch. I know it's a harder shot to get right than a flop, but I do like these shots now. Of course I do, because I've just pitched in <laughs> on a par 5. All right, we get that a little bit wrong, though. We get that a bit short, but... We only have a few feet for the bird, for the par, sorry, so I want this one. I miss this. Oh, we don't. Would have been unfortunate timing, wouldn't it, for me talking about not making a bogey, <laughs> to make a bogey there. Yeah, the, the longer par threes, they're still going to be difficult because we're at the mercy of the, the RNG circle. Even if you hit a good swing, the ball could still go off and you can do nothing about it. Alright, like dog leg to the right, we're going to aim this quite far left just to make sure it's safe. Although that's gone even more left on me. Ah, there you go. That is exactly why we aimed left. We're going to hit the wider part of the fairway on the corner and we've got 198. Happy Gilmore likes it. Now, I think we're going to have to have a really good finish here if we want to win this one. But it's not been bad, honestly. Five under at Bay Hill. I think there's still a par 5 to come as well. So yeah, looking respectable so far. We're going to hit a 7, and that's gone really far left again. Wasn't too bad a swing either, was it? I, I went pin seeking with how far left I aimed that. I probably shouldn't have aimed that far left, to be honest. Even with the wind, it's only 6 to 9 miles an hour. You know, I don't think that's that strong. Alright, but we have a pitch again. <laughs> And it's uphill all the way. Little pitch from off the green again for Happy Gilmore. Oh, we've hit that a bit hard. That's a little too much. We could be coming away with a bogey. And it's only one hole after I was uh, talking about not making bogeys. So, all right, let's see if we can get this one. Light left turn, I think. Happy to save his par. What a save. What a par save that is. We do keep the bogeys off the card. Five under with three to play. And there you go. A player has got to nine under quite early in the day. With four shots off the lead with three to play. Doesn't look good. <laughs> but let's see how well we can finish. Well, this is where it all starts, and you're right. Your money here, Rich. I want a power drive here. Looking at three or four, bad tee shot, six or seven, and the round goes horribly wrong. Right. Every time I've power drived it, it's gone pretty straight. Despite the massive like circle it would have, you know, some of these approaches have really gone off to the left. But you know, power drive when it's come to that, every time it's worked out, which I like. All right, so this is a par five. Front of the green is 188. I'm not sure if a 7 iron is quite enough. So I'm going to hit a 6 iron. Loft it as much as I can. Now you can kind of see how wide that circle is. You see it to the left. You can see it from there. But yeah, I'm going to not aim this too far left. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad at all. Oh, it's just a little bit short. Oh, it didn't need the loft. Ah, oh, unlucky. It's the thing, though. If it bounces on the green, it does roll on a little bit, you know? I mean, this isn't bad at all from here. Very straight. Between us and the pin, it's completely straight. So, yeah, I'm just going to hit it here with a blast. If it goes straight, it's got a chance of going in. It doesn't go straight, though, and it's very short. Very short. That didn't roll out at all. Okay, well, I think from here it's flat. So I'm going to aim this straight at the pin. Happy to get to six under. And he does. Alright, that's good. We've at least birdied all the par fives with a massive pitch in on one of them to get an eagle instead. Oh! Oh, he's moved back to eight. Okay, he's got one hole to go. Uh, we've got this par three now, though. Which is not an easy hole, especially when it's downhill and there's tailwind. We need a long iron to hit it. Five iron, is that enough? I think it will be, you know. I think it's enough to make it.
Not bad, it's going a bit left. Is it going to sit? That's the question. Is it going to sit? No, it's not. No, that's the issue. It just can't. It just doesn't sit when it's tailwind like that. It would at the wetlands, but that's what made the wetlands so so easy compared to this. Yeah, I think this is a chip. Now, I'm going to be a bit more careful with the, with the pace of this one. We do need to dial this one back a bit because it's very downhill. It should catch these slopes and run. Going to turn left all the way. Right, it does catch the slopes. Pretty good power, just a little bit short. Lovely butt shot of Happy Gilmore there. Thanks, game. <laughs> and uh, we're going to tap the sin for par, I think. Yep. Been a pretty good showing at Bay Hill. We're six under through 17. With only, you know, stat, stat points put into power. I think that's pretty good going. We're, we're second at the moment. So this could be a really good finish, but we'll have to see what all of the players do after us. A field of 125, and it's a single round tournament. Not quite going to risk a power drive here, just in case the wind catches it. It reaches the water. So it's again a really good drive on the last. Let's see if we can finish well. Maybe get another birdie here. Happy Gilmore playing playing really well at Bay Hill. Made a couple of big par saves, some good scrambling. We've been bogey free so far. Make sure we keep that up at least going into this last green. I don't want to aim too far right again. Look at that circle. You can see it from here. Happy with a 9 9 on the approach. Unfortunately, it has gone left on me. Are you swinging good? Do you have the shot? Okay. Now I've got to find out. We're on the green, on the last. We've got 36 feet. Not quite as close as what you'd like, but still. For the birdie, it's going to turn right all the way, and it's downhill as well. So let's make sure we don't overpower this. Let's just kind of lag putt this one. It might reach the hole, you never know. But this is a birdie putt on the last. They get to seven under. Looks good. Oh, we've got it. What a putt on the last from Happy Gilmore. 30 feet out. Happy learned how to putt. Huge round there. Seven under. No way we're one shot off the lead, really. Wow. Wow, we're tied third. What a tournament. The winner here, eight under. No one got to nine. Especially when you have a strong field like no one got to 9 or 10. That's interesting. Leviota was t uh, 9 under, but they bogeyed towards the end of their round to go back to 8. They still win. It looks like they won in a playoff against Jason Day. But that is a T3 for us. We're coming off our win last week. And we continue our good form at Bay Hill in the Arnold Palmer Invitational. And that is a T3. One shot ahead of Victor Hovland and Brian Harmon. Level with four other players. Massive round there. Good stuff. What a putt on the last though. Man, <laughs> that was carrying a lot of pace as well. I wonder how far past that would have gone if it didn't hit the middle of the hole. But yeah, great putt. Happy Gilmore, there he is. Just about. <laughs> That's about as close as I could get to uh, the actual Happy Gilmore character. All right, qualify for the players, of course. Let's go to our skill points real quick because I think we've got enough now. Yeah, can you can you get off the screen, please? Okay. <laughs> yeah, eight available when it costs eight. And we're going to get ourselves even more distance off the tee. And the next one costs 10, and then 12, and then 15. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a few tournaments now because we're not leveling up as fast. We're leveling up about once per round, probably a bit less now. So I don't think we'll level up again, actually, before the Masters. But we're almost at full power already. Guess it's a little bit easier when you're not putting stats into anything else. But yeah, power level 7. So we've got even more power off the tee. I'm leaving the equipment and the fittings. Because uh, I know this game has fittings and you can give yourself more power. I'm going to leave those for now. I'm just kind of going to kind of play, you know, standard and default. I should probably change the equipment though, give myself a better ball than just the EA Sports ball and the EA Sports club. So maybe I'll do that before the next tournament. But that is a tied third finish. That's our second best finish. Of course, it's not as good as the win last week. But that puts us top in the FedEx Cup rankings. We're first. 
and we've moved even further up in the world golf rankers we're top 10 now already that's crazy but next week guys is the players championship so it's a big tournament big chance again for more fedex cup points and this will be worth more for the rankings as well so we're going to tpc sawgrass for the players so that's very exciting so yep remember to leave a like on the video if you like what you saw and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next episode for the players championship so thanks very much for watching guys and i'll see you next time